Hello YouTube, I'm Foss the Magi. I'm here to explain to you how to become a better player. I'm going to do that by releasing over the next few weeks, every Saturday, a coaching video about the fundamentals of the game. By going over the fundamentals first, we're going to build a strong foundation and then we'll further advance those with specific champion mastery videos that I'm going to be releasing every Monday. On top of that, I'll be answering questions on my stream and every Wednesday, I'm going to be releasing a montage video as I climb back to Challenger. This first video is going to be focusing on jungle tracking. Jungle tracking is a very complicated topic, but to explain it, I'm going to take actual examples from my coaching one-on-one -on -one with students and use those to teach you how you too can track the jungler and play aggressive when you need to. So you're counting the seconds a tiny bit wrong? Look, so this isn't yet. This is 30 seconds from now. I mean, Volbear actually delayed himself to do Wolf, which was, like, really stupid. He should have crossed over to Red, but he could be finishing Red right now is what I'm saying. So, like, he could gank you 20 seconds from here if he has proper pathing, okay? Yeah. What that means is you can push this wave. That's fine, right? That's perfectly acceptable. This is the second wave. But you need the wave to be coming back to you on the third wave. Because on the third yeah. wave is his gank timing. Mm -hmm. It's not this wave that matters, it's the next one. Okay, so how do I, uh, like, put the wave, like, pushing... You don't do this. This is precisely what you don't want to happen. So, here's the problem. Okay. You tried to push this, but then you didn't push it all the way. Because you backed off from the wave, right? Mm. So right here. Watch. You're not autoing the wave actively, right? Like, you're hitting it, but you're missing an auto frame, missing an auto frame. You could be autoing these. You could be autoing these right now. Because you need to get the second wave to tower. That's the thing that matters. Uh, second, wave. Okay. second wave to tower, so third wave comes back to you. Because if you have this and the minions get caught here, this is the problem. This is a really big problem, actually. Because look. Look where your minions are, right? Where is this wave going to be sitting? Right here, right? Mm -hmm. What happens when the wave sits right here? Well, if the jungler is coming to you, in theory, if he's smart, instead of doing wolf, he just finished red. He didn't finish red. He's doing red right now, by the way. Like, in your game, he's doing red right now. A better jungler right now finishes red and starts walking up this way. He's just either going to gank mid or go to blue, depending on where your wave is, okay? Mm-hmm. So right now I can tell you, like, if I turn this on, he's doing red. Because he messed up his path thing by doing wolf, right? But that doesn't mean it matters that he's doing red. That just means that he's bad. But right now, you're, like, really exposed to a gank. So if a jungler did red buff instead of this wolf, then they're leaving the red buff area right now. They'd be right here. They could be walking straight to you. And look where you're standing yeah. when they would have come out of this bush. Oh, okay, yeah. You're going to have to flash, right? And this yes. is because you're not tracking the jungler. So I hope that little segment was able to help you understand a bit about early game pathing. Let's jump into the next one. And now, because this was delayed, guess what? Their wave is going to catch your minions here, so you have to push another wave. And yeah, that's kind of fine, but it gives them time. Because guess what? Where is Volibear? The bear is probably a blue. Right here. Oh, yeah? Right yeah. here, roughly. Okay. If I'm correct. Yep, there he is. Huh. Wow. Okay. So, you need to stay on this side, obviously. This is a clip to show you just what you can accomplish once you can properly track everything on the map. So, Volbear, just to say, he's either mm -hmm. here, like right there, we're right here right now. Okay. Either right here or right here. So let me count the seconds. Two, three, four, five. He could be here or he could be here. You okay. have five minions. Lux showed. So Lux can be here. Mm -hmm. So count. You can have the plate right now. Where can Volbear be? Volbear can be up to here, or he could still be here. 
and Lux could be getting to here. Mm. So okay. now, uh, right I, as I, this I, second I, minion should, there's Lux, right? And Volbear mm -hmm. at this point can be getting here. I mean, he could be here, or he could be like here, or he could be still waiting and try, or he could have recalled. It's any of those four branch, right? So he's in yeah. here. So of those branches, he was here, problem, but it's impossible for him to go from Krug to mid lane in that time window. Like it's physically impossible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, um, the problem is, uh, I don't think, what is he doing? I think uh, where he is. But that's wrong. Like, you have to so think, if... how does he play so I know where I can play? What is it that my opponents can do to me? And what is it I can do to my opponents? Just think about the game as a series of timers. It takes a specific amount of time to clear any camp. It takes a specific amount of time to do any rotation. It takes a certain amount of time to walk from base to mid, from bot to mid, from top to mid, or wherever you're going. There is a set amount of time for that rotation. Without boots, it will take roughly 24 seconds to get to mid lane from base. Once you know the timers for every rotation in the game, you'll be able to start working on how to play aggressive to take advantage of those mistakes in rotational timing. Those leads in Snowball in order to allow you to win the game. By tracking the jungler, even without vision, you're able to control the game, whether your teammates are supporting you or not. I hope this was useful for you, and check out my video next week, where I'll be discussing with you how to properly set vision control for the vision that can help you. Check out the links below, where we can help you improve as a player through our Discord server and its helpful community, as well as my stream. I hope everyone has a great day, and I'll see you next week when I'm closer to Challenger.